Hi guys, welcome back to another Steam free-to-play walkthrough. Today we have how to cope with boredom and loneliness. So I hear there's not actually much gameplay in this, but hopefully it'll be like a good, insightful story. I like stories. Point Bleep Studios. You're Nigel Wimble. Hard-hitting PBTV documentary filmmaker. You're at 23 Melbury close to finish filming the final episode of your award-winning ser series. How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness, a guide for the isolated. You have come to talk with Harold Fletcher, a 43-year-old man who has been grounded to his bedroom for over 30 years. Since his mother Margaret only allows Harold visitation for 15 minutes a day, you will only have enough time to talk about three topics. Carefully choose three items of interest from Harold's room to learn how he copes with boredom and loneliness. Every item tells a story. And not every story is relevant to Nigel's show. From your selections, then watch the di documentary unfold. Your show will be scored by a focus group at the end. Good luck. Gosh. Okay, we did the tutorial. Oh, this is kind of neat, I guess. I can. I chose a rabbit. Think about the rabbit. Potential soundbite. Harold and his co-prisoner, an overstuffed rabbit, have been through hell together, but at least they had each other to ease the loneliness. They're gonna reach it for the hankies. That's good, I guess. Harold. Harold Fletcher, a curious man in a curious that boy, situation. Dude. Is this going to take long? Oh, Mother man. says visitation is only 15 minutes today. Even though you're the first visitor I've ever had. Poor Harold. What's wrong with you, woman? Potential soundbite. A mother's love is very special. I've been with many single mothers, <laughs> so I know firsthand how special it can be. Cool. Harold's mother's love is special, but not the kind of special love I'm looking for on a Saturday night. And neither is Harold. Okay. Interesting. Harold's mother Margaret. How long will she punish Forever. you? Forever. For? She's already done it for 30 oh, years until she I dies. Wish you'd stop staring at me, Mr. Wimble. <laughs> Harold doesn't need a father. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, what should I choose? Let's choose a TV. TV's a good one. A lot of options here. Telescope. That seems like a good one. Harold's only view to the larger world is through this telescope. It breaks your heart, hopefully. Maud from 94 is rather slender. Oh, he's a stalker. Potential soundbite. With an eye in the sky, Potential you can sometimes bite. forget where your feet are. Oh, that's poetic. Okay. Do this one, and we'll do the rabbit. That sounds good to me. Shoot the documentary. Let's roll. How to cope with boredom and loneliness: a guide for the isolated. Do I have to click. Click. Are you sure this is the saddest music you could find? Hello, I'm Nigel Wimble, award-winning winner. Award-winning winner. TV, me too. I'm here to meet a man named Harold Fletcher as part of my How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness series. Harold has been grounded to his room for the past 30 years in an isolation case the likes we've never seen before. Mm. His mother Margaret, the warden to Harold's prison, has granted Harold a 15 minute visitation break to speak with us. You won't mind a quick strip search for contraband, will ya? I kinda hope do. you can explain to us how he copes with the boredom and loneliness from 30 years of isolation. With an isolated idiot, watching television is an escapism we all take for granted. With an isolated idiot. My mother idiot. treated me to a modern television last year. That's she says good. if I'm good this year, she will allow me to keep the plug for an extra ten minutes. But you haven't been good, have you, Harold? Tell no. the man about the carrot you stuck up your nose. I told you not to smuggle food in here. Well, Kevin likes a snack when we watch the first 23 minutes of a movie. How do you search? I unlocked. Okay. With an eye in now. the sky, 
you can sometimes forget where your feet are. <laughs> For Harold, he never forgets where his feet are, but still has sights on the stars. God. That voice is this too good. This old telescope has got me through many an afternoon. Sometimes I'll pretend I'm a World War II sniper and people at the bus stop are advancing Germans. Oh, they gosh. wouldn't stand a chance if it was a sniper rifle, let me tell you. Oh, I guess. They could try taking cover, but I'm pretty sure the bullets would penetrate the bus shelter. It would be an absolute bloodbath. That's a strange thing to think, Harold. Headshot achievement acquired. Harold and his cohabitor, an overstuffed rabbit, this was a good game for achievements. Together, but at least had each other to ease the loneliness. Yes, Kevin is a dear friend. We've become rather close over these past few years and perhaps more than just friends at this stage. What do you mean by that? You're not fucking well, him, are Kevin you? Has needs and oh, I have God. Needs. I'm forever sewing that towel back on. <laughs> We saw this kind of thing go on in our prison episode, so I'm not entirely surprised to see it happen in here. Kevin, too. no! Poor Kevin. Whether oh my this gosh. this arrangement is mutual, we will never know. Oh, poor Kevin, As Kevin dude. has decided to remain quiet during the making of this documentary. That's so messed up. <laughs> My time Stop to achievement. Perfect. To end. I hope one day he will find freedom and live a full life. Until then, he will continue to look for ways to cope with boredom and loneliness. I'm Nigel Wimble. Good night. Or Join Kevin, us next dude. week as Nigel investigates cows and why so many stomachs. Gotta digest grass, my dude. Tuesday night on PPTV. Or PVP. Peanut Butter TV. Okay, focus group. Report regular. He should be happy as TV is switched off. He doesn't have to watch this dribble. Four out of ten. Chris from Gob Cockle. And gobble this cockle, you dick. I use my telescope the exact same way. Amazing show, Nigel. Eight out of ten. Half from Whipple hitting me. I found one of the items for a ten out of ten. Wow, hard hitting stuff. Anyone know where I can order a rabbit like that? New fan. Reshoot. That song's pretty lit. Whatever that was. Alright, do I have to click through this or is there a skip button? Let's click real quick. Alright. Okay, so we need the rabbit for sure. Collect. Mural. Salmon. I noticed a mural on Harold's wall. Two fish swimming away from each other. <laughs> Did Harold paint this as a metaphor for the relationship with his mother? Why would they be swimming that away from each other? And last time Harold scribbled on his wall. <laughs> And then he got his butt kicked. Potential soundbite. Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, that guy with no ears, and now Harold Fletcher? Have I discovered a tortured artist? Yeah, not. Super artist. Very acoustic. What was the KGB movie? Came out in the eighties. Was this the last movie Harold went out to see? Boris is actually ex KGB. He fights for us now. It shows people can change, Mother. This is why I don't allow Harold to watch movies anymore. Rotting his mind with Soviet propaganda. That's fair. KGB sounds like a terrible movie. Potential soundbite. For some, movies are an escape from reality. For Harold, his reality is like a movie. One of those terrible, of terrible movies. Indie or a documentary movies. movie, maybe. I guess that's the three for this one. Alright. I just want to see the items chosen, please. And thank you. Are you sure this is the set? I can Hello. skip through it a little bit. It's good. Harold. You won't mind a quick strip. We hope he can explain to us how he copes with the. Just gonna skip to the items. I already read this. Yeah. That's kind of gross. Still. What? Or Kevin? I'm forever sorry. Towards the tail off. Kind of, kind of funny though. We've had this arrangement. All right. What's as next? Kevin has decided to remain quiet during the making. How 
Toad's mother has always played prison warden. <laughs> From womb to the room. room. That's a good run. Do you worry about the harm this isolation <laughs> may be causing, Harold? Harold brought this on himself. What about me? You are I've a been better. isolated too. I haven't had sex since Harold's father died. No one would ever want to be stepfather to that little bastard. Not little, you man. should be making this documentary about me. I'm the one being punished. I'm so lonely, Mr. Wimble. No. Mother's love. What a great achievement, man. I noticed a poster for an old children's movie. A poster? For some, <laughs> movies are an escape from reality. The Herald, this reality is like a movie. A depressing TV movie. Starring actors you haven't seen in 20 years. Nice. I do love getting lost in a good movie. I think Boris the KGB movie was the last time I did get lost in a movie. That's it was the last time Mother rewarded me for good behavior. I remember it like yesterday. Probably because you're screwing your freaking stuffed animal, my dude. Boris the KGB movie was a 1986 children's movie. It was banned one week after release. That makes sense. KGB. Oh, we get to watch it? Let's go. Hey, he's got a little knife. Ah. Uh. Oh, no. <laughs> hey. KGB. Hey. It's awesome. That's lit, dude. Boris, please, you don't have to do this. It was just business. It was all about the honey. I'm not a traitor. I love this country. You can't release me. You have to see. I'm country first and I'm still KGB. You are no like a KGB. You're just a super worker bee. Person mm. number 33. You have another broken mm. bee. Would you like a cup of tea? That was just a joke. You see, you'll never see a cup of tea. As long as you're a lucky baby, coffee is available. If you like a cup of tea, would you like a sugar cube? But the finish but the little bee. Hey, brother, because I aim to please. This is lit. Freaking bars. Oh, brother. Ooh, that's a cold chill. I remember Boris used to say, Oh, oh behave, behave brother. brother. Get it? Behave? <laughs> it was awfully funny when Mother used to tell me to behave and I'd retort, Oh, behave, Mother. Do you remember that, Mother? Yes, I do remember you cheeky little shit. <laughs> cheeky then little mother shit. Would put you over a knee, but you didn't tell the man that, did you? Have you seen the version on YouTube where the movie speeds up every time Boris kills a dissident? It becomes quite dizzying. <laughs> That's cool. Behave, brother. <laughs> My time with with okay. Boris. I'm at the end. Uh, okay, so now those alert hot milfs in your area. Margaret sounds DTF. Can you give me her number? Gary the Perv. I wish that mother would behave touching stuff. Simone from Middle Witch. That's fun, I guess. I like the bee. I like the bee. I'm a bee. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bee. At least I could skip. That's really good. Because there's quite the many options to pick. I think I'm just gonna pick three random ones this time and just select. I couldn't help but notice the a novelty, novelty crap, crap clock. clock. Sometimes to combat loneliness, the isolated will attribute personality to inanimate objects. Like that volleyball. Like in that Tom Hanks movie. Oh, Harold loves that clock. We sometimes use it to time the intervals between Harold being naughty. For every five minutes he's good, I don't smack him round the head. Potential soundbite. The Herald, the watchful clock, is ever ticking. In a way, time has been his only companion. Oh, it's fucking majestic, Nigel. <laughs> and there's so many options, though. Herald. I can't click Herald. Well, it's not that many. I'm almost there ish. Unless there's like hidden ones I don't know about. I can't even choose him. That's good, at least. One last thing. An old toy truck 
Made by Helen's father, perhaps. Maybe I can trigger a painful memory. That's a goal. Oh, Harold never plays with that. After everything his father did for him. Oh yeah, let's trigger that painful memory so I can get the tears. But Sad day. Soundbite. A poorly carved toy truck serves as a reminder of an absent father. Well, sometimes life on the road means, Mommy, when's Daddy coming home? Well, that's gonna hit hard. I get all the achievements in this game. I should have not done the mouse twice. I thought I'd get lucky and maybe get the perfect score. But I didn't. That's I can't even remember why I grounded him now. It wasn't for any one thing in particular. More this just changing? a bubbling pot of bad behavior That's that different. you needed to put a lid on, so to speak. You can replace the word lid with Harold's bedroom door to understand Harold's mother's analogy. I was desperate to discover how Harold had been coping with the boredom and loneliness from 30 years of isolation. I don't know much about art, but I know all the greats had one thing in common. Absent or awful mothers. Ah. Could Harold be a trapped artist? I created this piece when I was about nine years old. I had planned to tie it underwater scene, but only got as far as these fish before Mother burst through the door screaming. I was so startled, I stumbled and fell <sighs> from the shelf, causing myself a serious back injury. Aww. The broken bones eventually healed on their own, but my breathing can be quite wheezy. I'm quite sure I needed medical attention, but Mother said only good boys are allowed to access the ambulance service. Gosh dang. And he's never drawn on the wall since. Leonardo, Picasso, Angelo, De Bob Ross. Nice. The watchful clock is ever ticking. In a way, time has been his only companion. Okay. I've always hated Crab Clock. He's always been there mocking me with his mocking incessant me. ticking and talking. Did you know he's ticked roughly 1,060,680,001, okay. 2, 3 times since my incarceration? I didn't bother counting the talks. Wilson. That's awesome. A Evil. poorly carved toy truck serves as a reminder of an absent father. But sometimes, life on the road means, Mommy, when's Daddy coming home? Harold's father has been absent for most of his life. Mostly owing to the fact that he's dead. Weird. He was involved in a massive collision, resulting in 52 deaths. Oh my god. <laughs> father made me this truck himself. He said he used to work on it while he was on long journeys. The police officer said he was whittling the last piece when his truck collided. Oh with my the street god! Bus. <laughs> That's messed up. Father, driver, tinker, die. For a time with him, until then, he will continue with boredom. I'm Nigel. Will. Join us next week as 9, 9 p.m. Okay, none of those are a 10 either. God dang it. I stopped my child from drawing on the wall by forcing her to smoke an entire cr whole carton of crayons. Linda from Tits Patch. The filmmaker asks the prisoner about a clock while I'm looking at my watch. 4 out of 10, a board viewer. Great, yet another depressing show on TV. I love them. 6 out of 10. Sue from Dip Swaddle. I guess we're going to choose the acoustic guitar. Oh, just skip to it. Nice. That's good. How long has Harold been playing guitar? What if I've discovered a virtuoso? It looks well used. Oh, Mother says I sing song. like a dog. Howling in agony. Nice. Potential soundbite. Music can turn your ears into eyes and show you worlds your eyes wouldn't believe. Okay. Use it. Let's look at the fish tank. An empty aquarium. Pet fish aquarium. Like are prisoners to their environment. Well, 
I can draw a great parallel to this. Harold's father was never there, so I got him a fish. Oh, that's nice of you. Potential soundbite. Like the fish, Harold is swimming in the sea of isolation. Yeah, that's really nice. Super nice. So how many more objects we got? We got the paper stack, we got his bed. I think that's about it, actually. So. This looks like a screenplay. Is Harold writing a movie? I like to write erotic drama. Erotic so drama. Science fiction landscapes. With Kevin. Don't forget Kevin. He's a star. Potential soundbite. With Hollywood already filled with deranged idiots, could there be room for one more? Dude, this has got to be a 10. The paper stack's got to be a 10. 100%. Tonight at 9 on PBTV, in tonight's episode, Nigel Lu Harold and- I know who you are. Well, Harold's always been a naughty boy. He's been quiet out of- I've only got one nice picture of him, and even in that he's pissed <laughs> on the cat. cat. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck, Harold? Then, I sent him to his bedroom, and the bad behaviour seemed to stop. So I've kept him up there permanently. That's a weird decision. I had a look around Harold's room to discover what he uses to cope with the boredom and loneliness from 33 years of isolation. Music can take you to places only your ears can see. The guitar is Harold's vessel to unseen worlds. And he is the captain. If mother allows it, I will play you a new piece I've been working on, entitled Plastic Race Car Bed. Oh, I know this jam. Here we are, sitting in my car, my little... Oh, this is the ending. Yes, here we are, oh my car, mm -hmm. my little plastic car. That's Take lit. To the road and I sing this song, old hot tar. Not in my car, these tires are made for asphalt roads. Hey, he's a genius. Classic race car bed. You could lose minutes. hours to the peace and tranquility of a well maintained aquarium. But like the fish, Harold is swimming in a sea of isolation. A sea. Gosh. I sometimes I don't look know at the fish tank as if it is my bedroom and I am mother. <laughs> but then I felt it wasn't fair to keep the fish isolated like me. So I set it free. Ah, uh, you what killed it. What did you do with the fish? Flush it. Well, I took it to school to release into the nearby brook. But by the time I had got there, it had dried out in my pocket. How'd you leave the room? Dried fish. That means you left the room if you went to school. Despite a screenplay Harold had been working on, a movie producer in the making, he suddenly wouldn't look out of place in Hollywood. He decided to read me some lines from his new screenplay card, Brad Planet and the Tentacle <laughs> the of Temptation. The Tentacle Temptation. He ran a slightly damp tentacle across his cheek as he gazed longingly <gasps> into her compound eyes. I don't care that you try to bite my head off during coitus. I love you, Sheila. That's Run romantic. away to Planet Vargon with me. I love you too, Brad, but my father... Let me talk to him. He'll understand once <laughs> I show him how much I love you. Now come here and kiss me. Oh, Brad. <coughs> Sheila passionately kisses Brad with her four mouths. Brad slowly sticks that? his finger into her gooey. That will do, Harold. Yeah. You're a bloody Please. space pervert. Pinnacle porn. The best achievement ever. We're time with Harold. Until then, he will continue to look for ways to cope with boredom. I'm Nigel Wimble. Join us next week as Nigel investigates 9 p.m. Okay. Oh, we found two tens. What was the first one? Very poignant moment when he pulled out the guitar. He murdered a fish, yet he put this man on television. That screenplay sounded so hot. When's part 10 come, 2 coming out? Well, I know how to get a perfect now, at least. 
How many more achievements we gotta get? Plastic card! Da -da 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 -da. So I got one more thing to look at the car. And now I can get the. Car is not gonna give me the perfect score though. Whatever. We'll do the perfect score last, I guess. Uh. Don't really matter what else we can't click, I don't think. Oh my car! Da 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 da! Isolation is no joke. It changed again. It's not just boring, it's lonely too. True. Nobody understands that more than the subject of tonight's episode of How to Cope with Boredom and Love. Got it. Harold Fletcher has been grounded. His mother has offered us a rare glimpse into his life as prisoner and son. On your feet, Fletcher. You have a visitor. <laughs> On your feet, scumbag. Harold has coped. With the boredom and loneliness from 30 years of isolation. Harold still sleeps in the plastic race car bed he slept in as a child. You can imagine Harold dreaming about driving away from this isolated childlike reality. Well, I always had a passion for race cars as a child, but I suppose that passion has since left me, unlike the bed. <laughs> Though I can't complain, the springs merely provide moderate pain, and my feet dangle no more than seven to ten inches from the end of the mattress. No, my mother bad. always says, as long as your head is above water, you can technically sleep anywhere. Road of isolation. A movie producer. It is. Okay, so now we just gotta get the perfect review, I think. We saw that should be all the achievements. Maybe said, minus one, which might be watch the credits. My time with until then with Bob, I'm Nigel. Join us next week as Nigel investigates. Jesus, Jesus. did really he have really have a beard? 9 p.m. Interesting question. Super philosophical. Alright. Laugh so hard I shit the <laughs> fuck. Okay, one more time. I think. Anyways. Is there supposed to be an achievement that is like get all the scenes? But, okay. This one. Select. 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 Documentary. I don't think there's any other things to click. I don't think. Let me make sure before I go. Can't click Harold, can I? Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. Shoot the documentary. Roll film. Do do do. If that's changed. Isolation. Yeah, I know. It's not just boring. Got Nobody it. understands how to go. I'm not doing boring. Fletcher has been grounded to his bedroom. His oh. mother has. On your feet. Okay, that's all the same. Let's just roll through this and then see the credits, I guess, and that should be it. We saw. Whether this arrangement is music. Click, 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 click. I do like the song though. Something, something, plastic car. Here we are, sitting in my car, my little plastic car. Yes, <laughs> That's freaking lit. Oh my car, my little plastic car, took me to the road and I sing this song. Old hot tar, not in my car, these tires are made for asphalt roads. Encore. Oh my car, my little plus car. That's so lit. I love that. The spider screenplay. It is. Yeah, Harold, you perv. 
my time with Harold. Until then, with bored time, Nigel. Join us next week as Nigel investigates video games. Is it more, Is it more than, than just, just bang bang? bang, bang. Your mom's a fag? <laughs> he said it. It was blurred out, but he said it. Oh my gosh. One month later, the following footage was uploaded to us from one of our missing cameras. Uh oh. Oh no. I'm not gonna show him pumping that rabbit full of this stuff. For you, Kevin. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, when we're in my room alone, I start to take off all my clothes. <laughs> I wish I had a camera phone, cause that's a nice erotic pose. Or we could make a calendar and you could be December. Poor Kevin. Oh, carrots help you see in the dark. We don't need lights when we fuck. I just need somewhere to park. <laughs> Actually, dark. I can't see anything. Can we put the lights on, love? Oh. <laughs> he said bark. Oh, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> You're a friend of mine Through thick and thin Together to the end of time Oh Kevin, you're a friend of mine But I never really took the time To find out what was on your mind Just what you have in your insides Oh Kevin, I'm so sorry I don't want to see you cry I hope this reported <laughs> Oh Kevin, when we're Please making Please don't be yes. really thinking like I'm strong and so wait, no, not Mr. Wimble. I'm not sure he's into you or even available. Oh, Kevin, you're a friend of mine. Hey, to thick and thin, together to the end of time. Story of a man and his stuffed animal. Where's the tentacle story, though? How does that play into this? Look at them eyebrows, dude. Fierce. At least he serenades it before he starts pumping it. That's nice of him. Harold? I'm about to barge in, so make sure you're decent. Come Wait. in, mother. You better not be touching Kevin <laughs> again. I'm really serenading him, mother. What are you doing with that camera? You better not be touching Where did him you again. Get it? I found it, mother. Mr. Wimble must have dropped it. Uh -oh. I thought I'd use it to record a song for Kevin. You can play it back if you want to listen. No, I don't want to bloody listen to it. You stole that camera, didn't you? You thieving little puss. What else have you been recording? Mummy's secrets? It will come back here looking for it, you know. Huh. It will come back here looking for it. Oh, no. Let's get changed. No. Give me that camera. No. Please, I'll no. Make sure Mr. Wimble gets what he's looking for. You stay up here in your bedroom. Okay, mother. Don't hurt him like the other men. Award-winning achievement. All right, that's awful. Wow, hard-hitting stuff. We already seen that. All right, let's watch the credits. Roll the credits. Yo, my name is Harold. I'm 40 years how old. I'm going to fall off at being naughty, not nice, but I'm a good boy. How to cope with boredom and loneliness. A guide for the isolated. The three. Is there multiple episodes? Presented by Nigel Wimple. Director Edwina Shedd. Writers John Never, David Day, Amanda Tao, Simon Chuckle, Denise Gutter, Five Stash. Oh, they all got like a name at the end of their thing. Never, Day, Tao, Chuckle, Gutter, Stash. No, I don't make nothing. Producer Andrew Button. Executive producers Nigel Wimble. Alexis Shave, Javier Boney, Team Tim Shovel, David Day, Voice of Chaps, Voice Actors, Jeff Bett. Who are these people? Martin Sanctions, Chris Took, Winston. Oh, these are the actual people, maybe? David Day again? Not reading anymore. Too many names. <laughs> it was a good game, though. It's, it was interesting. It was worth the play. It's pretty funny. I like the singer. Don't be shy, you can do it. You can do it, Kevin. I'd be really upset if he oh, started singing. On, Kevin, just drop it on the beat. Oh, for fuck's sake, Kevin, start rapping. 
Race car bed. Good song. So the chance of escape is improbable, but I do have one alternative. Step aside, brother, if you want to live. Well, that was a dark crime, wasn't it, Kevin? I wouldn't really kill her. I was just messing. Honestly, Kevin, I would never kill her. I'd never suffocate her and throw her in a river. I love my mum. She's my only mother. I just need a pillar. Should be easy to smother. Oh no! Wait, did I say that out loud? Can I believe this was a safety the cloud? Well, Kevin, I wish you just sung your verse. If the police see this, I'll be under a curse. A verse, not a word, but it rhymes with verse. I meant to say a rest, but it came out worse. But now I'm just starting to die. Thanks for playing. Look out for more. I'll have to check out more of these games because they're actually super fun. Oh, it's a CQC code or whatever they're called. Let me just quickly pull out my smartphone and not know what to do with that thing, anyways. P. W. Marlowe. Is that the end? Well, the song's not over. Sounded hard. I'll just do all the rhyming. Okay, is that the end? Yeah, my name is Harold. I'm 40 years old. Yeah, it is. Alright guys, thanks for wa thanks for watching as always. If you could please like and subscribe. This game was actually super fun. I'm gonna have to check out more games by this studio because it was actually really enjoyable. Not really any gameplay, but the story was really interesting and entertaining. So that's always good. Bye!